and I agree, the media will give license to this type of violence, and they do it in subtle ways, and here's how they do it. Look at the headline about the story. It says, conservative journalist says he was attacked. Yeah. Not was yeah. attacked, says he was attacked. Okay, well, he's the bloody. opposite of what it's they did with Smollett. It's on video, and there's a police report, and his face is a mess. <laughs> it's like saying, oh, well, um, the Toronto Raptors say they won the championship. <laughs> well, it was on TV, guys. <laughs>
white supremacists started violence and he participated in it. So, like, what if they started violence against him? He would technically have participated in it. And amplifier of Islamophobia. That's just not true. Uh, if you want to show me something that he did like that, I'll read it. Maybe I'll change my mind. But in my, uh, to the best of my knowledge, that's completely untrue. And I don't believe these people. The next Noah, we'll call him pronoun guy because he has him in, prof in his profile. And uh, just a heads up, Noah. No one cares. We don't. Call yourself Noah. It's cool. Calling Andy a journalist is inaccurate because he's a fascist. So no, I'm not sure if you know, but under fascist governments or in fascism, there's no freelance journalists, okay? The fascist propaganda. So the fascists are sending out their own freelance journalists pretending to be freelance. Really, they're promoting fascism through journalism. Cool. And now these next two guys, the first guy wrote something called Fascism Today, a riveting read, I'm sure. And the second guy claims, remember, we don't have to believe him here. He's a free claims he's a freelancer. He and he's a far right activist, they say, and they go on to talk about how these attacks were a lie. Even though we've pretty much seen it on camera, we're gonna go ahead and say it's a lie. And Andy goes on Tucker several times. He's never promoted any ideology. I don't know where this far right stuff comes from. It's just because he documents what Antiva does and shows how violent they are. And all this other stuff they want to claim is just noise to try to make you be like, hmm, they said this, so uh, let's not believe them. It's just like, it's playing word games, it's playing mind games. And at this point, I would hope that nobody just believes somebody who mentions something like this. Because why else would you mention it other than trying to discredit them? And I'm starting to think this is really a money argument about advertising dollars. You see all the people trying to get people kicked off YouTube and take their advertisers away. I think these guys are just upset that Andy's getting more attention than them. Not everyone, excuse me, not that everyone is fascist journalism. It's not really biting anymore. They got to take down their own competition and fund their own social justice wokeness journalism because it's a good way to manipulate people into giving you money. You don't want to give me money, you're racist. You don't want to give me money, you are um, against dolphin meat. <laughs> Remember when that was a thing? You gotta put uh, no dolphin meat on your tuna label. People are just like, does that mean dolphins are delicious? I don't know. So they just seem really jealous at this point, trying to get everybody to lose their job, everyone discredited except them. Believe no one. Don't believe these fascists and these racists. Believe me. I'm the one you should go to. And as Chris Brown recently said, the only bitches that are upset are the uglies. And the woke journalists, y'all be the uglies.